All right, and we're back. We're back for uh, match number four, and we turned our light off because, not gonna lie, it's pretty annoying. So you got the dark room mason. This is after hours. We're keeping. Double S contest, kind of like a mulligan, but later in the game it unlocks. Ah, uh, this is that dead. We're dead. <laughs> I mean, our hands just not suit suited to fight these kind of battles. Uh, I want to play this. So we need to start drawing good cards. Uh, there's a lot of decks this could be. It could be tokens, it could be uh, blue-white auras, and it could be the City's Blessing Go Wide deck. So it could also be the Embalm deck. So it might be the Embalm deck here. Or it could be God Pharaoh's Gift. Okay. So that one I can beat. I feel like I F6 and I still have to do that. Oh, I missed... Mm, I was about to talk about how we don't want to play this. We want to play this. That's my fault. I was about to say, yeah, we want to curve out. Okay. You can put a baboon count one in uh, the comment of the video. That way I know. Whew. We babooned a good bit this thing. It's all right. It's all right. We got him now. See, I knew we wanted that land because we just want to curve. It's all good. We, we totally wouldn't have been delaying if we had the opportunity. So. We're not in a good spot. Oh. The spot just got worse. We need them to mill all their gates and all their things. I don't... All right, it looks like they're the refurbished version from the way they're playing. Hmm. Not sure what we're supposed to do. I think we're probably just supposed to try and counter the first thing and then slam Scarab God and hope it's enough. We're going to graveyard this. Well, it's actually pretty good. Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. Are they going to just not play any cantrips, not do anything? All right. Deal. As long as we don't get cast out here, I feel fine. Or Graveyard this one. Exelon's Binding. Backbreaking. Besides that, eh, we got a game. Let's hope we don't get got here. Oh, this isn't looking good if they'll not get pl got planned. Don't. Alright. Woo! We at least got them to spend mana on their turn. Little victories. This is an angel. Alright. Well, luckily we didn't bend both Rastic attempts like baboons. And we've got a 6-6 Angel of our own coming. Hmm. Also, with what's in their graveyard, we just get to buy back on the upkeep. So we're going to put Scarab God on the stack first so we can resolve our Ascanta. See if we want to mill. The gear hole could be good. All right, we'll mill that to the grave. All right, this. We're going to buy back the Angel. I think I just want the big angel since it stonewalls so much of their team. I guess we just want this one because it does give us a play for the turn. Don't love it, but it's whatever. We could attack and force him to lose a bunch of stuff, but I think we'd just rather have our Scarab God in play. That's my hot take. Sure. Interesting they didn't... I guess they wanted to discard a Godfarer's Gift in their hand. Refurbish. Alright, so they have multiple refurbishes. Too bad we can't uh, get rid of this one right here. Do I want a Fatal Push, a Cat? No. Uh, we're going to use our Ascanta first. 
we're going to definitely graveyard that, so we have it in the graveyard to use. We're just going to go to our draw step. Uh, I guess we want this to put the... Yeah, we want that. I think it's Vigilance, right? Oh, yeah, it's got all the keywords. Six them. There's no way they can block. They're just not allowed to block. <laughs> if they block, I'd be mesmerized. Are they cast outing? Oh, settle the wreckage. That's pretty good. Well, we know they don't have the refurbish. And then this forces them to not... So we know they don't have the uh, way to get to it. So they have to find it there. We're going to do this. It's a little aggressive, but... Memory is also quite good against them if we need to, so... We have Memory Hulk. We also have Commit plus Scab uh, Scarab God with a counter spell now, so... Hopefully we don't get got. Alright. Well, they just get got, so... And we know they're going to draw Settle the Wreckage next turn. Let's resolve our scare our uh, search trigger first. Uh, I'll draw that one. Now we got one in the graveyard. It's probably enough. Yeah, take one. Draw that. Then end of turn, we'll buy back the uh, angel on their side. For sure. And if they play the settle, or they play something, like, I don't know what they'd have. They just have to have another angel in hand. And if they have another angel, would we'll just deal with it. The perfect. Alright, let's see here in our one second. Alright, let's get this ready for. There we go. Sorry, I am doing multiple things here and setting up the next video. I right, said so we're going to charter course, sure. They discard an island, so they still have refurbish. Okay, so they discard the refurbish before and kept the settle and something else. Gotcha. Well, that's good to know. We're just going to make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. There's so much lifelink. Oh, oops. We did the wrong thing. Whatever, we'll scry two real quick. A little misclick. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna rask into the thing anyways. So this, 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 this. Alright. We don't want any of those. Alright. Pretty much how we sideboard for this matchup. You bring in all your stuff that's good against their uh, spell-heavy version of the deck, and then you uh, stick a threat and win. I could bring summonings in, but it's not that good. Uh, I just really like playing with summonings. It's so much fun. But, whatever. It's for the mid-range matchups. Ah, oh, man, I am sorry. I am tired. I've had a long week. There we go. I could cut this into two parts. It's a lot of work, though. So we get to hang out here, talk about, hey, let us know what you want from the video series. Hope you're enjoying these. Hopefully I get better with them over time. Our setup isn't perfect right now, but I really wanted to get it done before it got too late at night, so... You know, we're doing what we can, right? Well, this is an interesting hand. I'm going to keep. It's got our hate card and counter spells and scarab god, so. I 
I do think this card's a little bit better against the gate version, because they take a little bit more work, but you just get to, like, eat stuff every turn and be like, yep, never get there. But, it's still fine here. Yeah, I'm not going to block, whatever. Come on, don't do me like that. Alright. So now we've got three mana, we've got our disallows up. We've got our dead eye up here. Oh, they're going to discard two cards for us, nice. That's so nice of them to set up my dead eye tracker. Oh, they, wait, what happened? Oh, they chose not to draw and discard. That's that's good. I was like, I mean, I think you should probably loot, but you know, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, just ripping them off the top here. I can disallow this. Because I do want to get cards in the graveyard. They're not going to draw and we're not going to block. It'll force them to have to put something in a graveyard eventually. Obviously, you don't normally do that, but. They're in a weird spot where they have to, like. Oh, perfect. So we're probably kind of their next play too. Because they can't really put cards in the graveyard. Because we get to eat them. So they have to go off on one turn. I mean they can do it. It's just hard. Alright, well, we'll disallow this. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of good. So I get to play Deadeye, leave up these. Because they can go planning, hit, refurbish, attack us. That would be good for them. But now we get to trade Deadeye off with the champion. We might be playing it a little too safe right now. Also, a Sierra Grad does need fuel, but Ixalan's binding. Well, I'm really happy with the play we made now. Targeting? They're going to target our untapped one, right? Alright. Cool, cool. Alright. Come on, there we go. We've got commit too, so we can buy it back if we wanted to, which is nice. Oh, drew a land, awesome. So yeah, we're two lands away. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. Because if we get two more lands, we get to play Scare of God plus have this up, so they just can't go off in a turn. Cool. Alright. So, the weirdest play in the world. Give them the champion of wits back. They might negate here. <laughs> Alright. Now we play our Scarab God and do their three cards. All 
Another Ixlons binding? This is super interesting. All right. We rip like a Scarab God. We probably played this a little too safe, but I know they're going to draw Champion of Wits. We can Memory. We Memory, they get to untap though with seven cards. I just don't like the idea of that. I guess they have to do that every turn. So they memory, they have to go land, planning into Furbish. But they play an Angel, we're in trouble too. Alright, we'll pass. I want them to play the champion, because I want to commit this Ixlons binding, I think. I want to be able to like eat their thing. Double Godfarer's Gift, okay. Yep, we're at four. They're just gonna draw two? Alright, we're gonna do this so we don't get like spell pierced or something weird. All right, so we've got Vras's Contempt. We just need this Dead Eye Tracker to get big so it can actually block stuff. <laughs> and we need to find us cards. We probably played this way too safe, but that's life sometimes. What card are they gonna play now, Angel? Excellence binding. All right. Well, that's just rude. Uh, negate. We need to put in the graveyard because we need to find things that actually win the game. Although our guy would have been big enough to block the one two, which he might have had to have done. We are going to need to just wrestle contempt here and hope they don't have negate. This is kind of our life, but you know. All right, so we've bought some time. We're going to Field of Ruin their Field of Ruin, so if our Conta does flip, we have it. Also, just don't want to draw any more lands. I just want to draw like a Scarab God or something. She might just counter, but I don't know black, sure. Alright, so we can memory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, I think we just have to memory. We have like one more turn, but I think I'd rather just memory now. Oops, we tapped too many lands. That's really bad. Ugh, I can't leave up Glimmer. Yeah, that's just on me. I just tapped too many lands. Alright. We do have the tools now to win. So, that's what's important. They might have their counter spells and stuff, but... That card's fine. Okay. They might just YOLO the refurbish. Alright. We got rid of one and we got uh, a counter spell in our graveyard, so. That's all good. Alright, so we have 
four, five, six, seven, eight, wait, one, two, three, four, eight, eleven lands. So we can play as Kanta. Leave up Gear Hulk. And leave up this split. If our gear hook gets countered, we're in trouble, but we kind of need Escanta in that situation too. What really might be happening is Essence Scatter into Glimmer, and to hopefully it's like Fatal Push. So, we'll see. They've used two Exxon's Binding on our two Dead Eye Trackers, so. Kind of shows that card's a problem. Alright. I'm just going to try and Glimmer. We have only like Vrasses Contempt and stuff. Bottom. Bottom. Draw two. Okay. We've got a cycle. This is one of the problems with our cyborg strategy of like cyborging out everything. They have a lot of cards in hand. It's going to be hard to win. It might have been wrong not to... Maybe we're supposed to counter the Champion Wits? Probably makes the most sense, since they can't really do much after that. Sure. Can't really fight this battle. Angel Inventions. Alright. Uh, nope. So we need this to resolve. Hmm. All right. So we threw this game. <laughs> That was, this was so bad. Yeah, if we just counter this thing, we just don't lose. That was really dumb. Oh, I just need to think. Just playing terribly. Alright. Let's see here. Our opponent's doing this. Uh, where is that? There it is. Private. All right. We were just uploading the other parts of the video while we're doing this video. Got a lot of the cards I want. Yeah, we're going to keep. It's a fairly aggressive keep, but. So close this, do this. Nope. All right. That's a good draw. Uh, all right. There we go. All right, back to the video at hand. Cool. Did I track a card I'd be pretty happy to draw? Uh, it's card to planes, so they're probably pretty land heavy. Now obviously don't have a Godfarer's gift, we don't want to expose it. Uh, we need one more land so we have Glimmer online. That's the most important thing right now. We are gonna counter this. We just don't want them looking through stuff. I mean, we want to be able to resolve glimmers and whatnot. If we let that happen, we might not be able to resolve a glimmer. All right. So now we're able to tap out for this, which we wouldn't have been done, able to do if we let the champion resolve potentially. So, also, if they land, the discarding lands are probably land heavy. So, when I see a strategic planning here. Yep. I always think they have to reveal a card off strategic planning. I don't know why. Strategic planning land, so that means they found some of the pieces. Excuse me. Uh, 
All right. So we got the land. Glimmer is online. We also have Rivers Rebuke, so if they do pull ahead or you know anything like that, we can reset the board. Also, Ixalan's Binding, which we found out is in their deck. Quite good against that. We might just see an Angel here, which I'd probably commit. I'd much rather Glimmer. And then them counter the Glimmer. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Respect. So now on the... Uh, what's it called? The Beats plan yet. Alright, so we need this. And we kind of need this Disallowed, too. I'm going to do some of my upkeep. What you doing? Uh, huh. I think we're going to graveyard that because we may need to make sure we're hitting land drops. Oh, that's a good card to draw. We'll try and slam that ASAP. We might actually be in a position where we're like tapping out and fighting and then they get to use their uh, Godfarer's Gift one turn. We slam this and then Rivers Rebuke after that. All right, so they hit double Godfarer's Gift and the Angel. Hmm. All right, we're going to negate this. Uh, well, yeah, we're going to disallow, actually. They have Spell Pierce, they have Spell Pierce, but they probably have a Jace's Defeat. And even though this can hit other stuff, I just want to be mana efficient right now. Okay. That is fine. We're going to get hit by an angel. It's, it's weird because they're actually kind of in a position where they get to uh, replay the Jace or replay the God Ferris gift. They have one more land. So we need to take this. No, because, yeah, we need to have this. We need to play it. And then I guess I can just play Scarab God. If I play Scarab God, we might get Ixalan Binding. But if we get Ixalan's Binding, the River's Rebuke is better. River's Rebuke also kills the token. They'd have to hit another Angel to kill us. Which is obviously not exactly the greatest situation in the world. Also, the River's Rebuke, they can buy back... Ma Master of Inquiries, so I guess that's the play. Just feels weird. So I guess I'm working towards Scarab God plus Negate. But if I resolve the Scarab God, I guess it's not even that good. I'm taking like a billion next turn. No, it's right. Uh, choose target player. Alright. Hopefully they don't have the land. If they land slam though, we can commit it, which is nice. And have negate up for another one if they had another one in hand. So. Looks like they do have the mana. Oh, they're just going to refurbish one back. Okay. So we're going to take inquiries and get hit for four. They might mill us. They might mill, I should say, not us. I guess milling is kind of good, but hitting makes more sense to me. Yeah, they still just don't have anything in the yard. They're going to play the other ministry. Yeah. Yeah, we threw away game two. Uh, we're going to throw this to the graveyard. Perfect. Play this. Alright. So now, if they tap out for the Godfarer's Gift, we get to negate it. Then we get to start using our Scarab God. Alright. So they want to just mill into angels and stuff. Which they might still do, but there's a champion of wits here too they could take. I imagine the one two at least mills. Yeah, you you definitely mill with the one two. Uh you mill with the one two, you hit the angel, you win the game, because you force me to block. 
I guess they want to buy that champion of wits. I mean, which is reasonable. I guess I can attack. Yeah, that doesn't seem very good. I'm going to play another Minister of Inquiries. What do they discard? Refurbish. Alright, Sacred Cat's a card. So we wanted to do Scarab God on the stack first in case we mill into something we want to buy back with Scarab God. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, no, because we want to make sure our Gear Hulk resolves. Yes. And we're just going to resolve this trigger. I guess we don't even, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We don't even, we don't even want to play duress right now. We just want to wait. Because waiting makes the most sense. Because if they mill and they get angels, we get to buy the angels. I probably should have committed this when I had the chance, I guess. That makes the most sense. I'm not really thinking through the turns all the way. I don't know why I'm doing this. But. Yeah, they're in a position where they can't really mill. They don't have any more creatures. We don't have any creatures. Such a weird game. Yeah, if you attack with that, I get to eat it. So weird. Right, let's see what we get. Uh, so Glimmer is interesting. Let's just find cards. I think we just want this Rass's Contempt, though. We just want to play it. Yeah, we just want Rass's Contempt. So we don't want to do anything else this turn, and we want them to negate. Uh. I guess I want it on this 4-4. Four, four. I can't buy anything back. So we're just going to draw. That was a good draw. Now we get to see what's in their hand. Angel invention, angel invention. Okay. Oh, right. They can't do it. Yeah. Makes sense. Because they don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need one more land. That's funny. If I commit there, then they just know I get to slam. And if they play it and we counter it, then we win the game. Yeah, yeah. Wow, they just played it. That's kind of tough. Disallow. Any order. That resolves. Let's disallow the next one. We'll buy that one back. We're going to have to gear hook this 4 3 1. Oh, okay. Well, we can just do this. Now we get to eat the 4-4. Four, four. Work towards chewing up the board. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. That's some progress. I can't buy anything back with Scarab God. That's not bad. So I want to play this into a Glimmer. Yeah, we have the Glimmer. Alright, we're going to play this at the end of their turn. They had Angel Invention Unknown in hand, and the next draw is Angel Invention. So if they counter, we'll be... Okay, it's like, alright, they counter, we have the Gear Hulk, so... I need to be able to start beating in. Scarab God, greater than all. Sure. Alright. Do you have a Jace's defeat? So let's find out. Uh, we're going to leave this up in case we want to use it. We can shuffle away the angel. If we want to. So. Uh, glimmer. Cast this. Imagine they negate any of this. Oh, well, that's good to hit. Draw these two. Yeah, we'll do this. So now we know they have whatever it's called. Uh, Angel and Unknown in hand. We don't know the next draw. But we know it's, you know, not the Angel, which is sort of a threat. Not a huge one, though. All right, so now we're going to get Dead Eye Tracker going soon. Perfect. Peter's lagging a little bit. So next turn we can attack in, and then we'll be able to Dead Eye Tracker if they block. All right, they drew a land. They still haven't drawn an Ixalan's Binding. This might be the longest I've had Scaragon play and not won a game, which is, you know, a cool, cool achievement, to say the least. I'll take this. Any order. If they have a cast out at instant speed, that's fine. We've got a little bit of a board now that we can take it over. And we've got Commit Murray with Gear Hulk, so. Cool. They might settle, but we have Negate, so. All right. They drew another land. They might just slam the angel here and be like, we need to try and win. It will not go well. We will definitely have enough to counter everything that they could play and then buy it back. It's funny because now we need to like start uh, dead-eyeing the cards that matter most if we have to memory. So it's like, all right, we got to go to the God gift and got to get rid of like uh, Jace's Defeat and whatnot. Tried our best to throw this game, but our deck was too powerful. So, you know, that's nice. You can attack with the cats, and I get to block and buy them back, and then it's not fun for anyone involved. All right. That's Kanta.
Ooh, what you say? Let me as Kanta. This card? Oh, yeah, we'll take this. Any order. Uh, Godfarer's Gift, Jace's Defeat. Uh, Graveyard. And then, yeah, was on tap. I don't know why our opponent's still playing, but more power to them. Jeez, this one's been kind of long. Champion of Wits, huh? All right, we're going to Essence Scatter this. I could put too many cards in the graveyard somehow. I'm not sure. Negate. You have Angel in hand. Uh, this and this. I don't even want it with my Scarab God. I just want to <laughs> get rid of it. I'm going to attack with some cats, huh? Well, they've don't have the lands to do anything else. We're going to get rid of the cat to save lifelink <laughs> so we can actually attack for lethal next turn. I guess it's lethal even if it hits, but whatever. Sure. We're going to gear hulk, get rid of this, hate you for lethal. I guess we have lethal just if we attack. All right, we'll just attack. No need to get fan. Oh, another dead eye tracker. Who needs to scry? It's just a five five. All right, on to game number three or uh, game number five. Sorry, we've after winning game number three. Jeez. All right, we'll see you on the next video.